I will be explaining how to create a machine learning model for income classification. So I'll start off by importing the necessary modules. I'll import NumPy, Pandas, Seaborn and Matplotlib for visualization, warnings to ignore any warnings that we might encounter. Next, I'll create a data frame by importing the data set pd.read underscore csv and the name of the file which is adult.csv. Now using the dot head function, I'll show the first five rows and the columns of the data set. Using the dot shape attribute, I'll find the number of data points. So it's a two dimension array with 32,561 points in 15 columns. Using the dot info function, I'll get the name of the columns with the number of null counts and the data type of each column. So here we see that there isn't any null value, but upon looking at the data set, we can see that certain columns contain a question mark. So these must be converted into NAN. So now I will encode these question marks as NAN values. So this will take all the columns with a question mark and replace it with NAN. Now using the dot info function once again, I can see that there are three columns which contain null values. So the, these columns are work class, occupation, and native country. So these three columns are categorical in nature. So I will impute the missing values with the most frequent value, that is the mode. So I'll create a list with the three columns and each column I'll fill the any n values with the mode and in place is equal to true will be set so that the value in the data frame will be imputed. Now using the snull function and the sum I'll take an analysis for all the columns and check if there are any more null values. We can see that all the columns have been imputed and there are no more null values. I'll create two variables. X contains the data frame with the series income dropped. And the income series in the data frame is our target variable, which will be assigned to Y. Now X dot head indicates the data frame with the income column being removed. Using xklearn.model underscore selection, I will import trains test split. Now I will split the data set into testing and training and the target variable being y. Now for all the columns which are categorical in nature, I will encode them. So I'll create a list of the columns which are categorical in nature and using this loop, I'll label encode all of these columns. Now next we proceed to feature scaling. So I'll standardize the testing and the training data set. Now this is how the training data set looks like after standardization. So it is between zero and one with the mean being zero and variance being one. Now we will be using logistic regression to create a model for classification. So logistic regression uses sigmoid function and the sigmoid function is one by one plus e raised to minus z. And there will be a threshold value and anything below the threshold value would belong to a certain class and anything above it will belong to the other class. So it is primarily used for classification models. Now I'll fit this for the training data set and the target variable of the training data set and I'll predict this for the testing data set. So I'll formulate the accuracy score for the model that has been trained to the testing data set. And we get the accuracy to be 82.17%. Now I'll be using PCA, which is a scikit-learns PCA class. What it basically do does is it is an algorithm for variance ratio. Explained variance ratio is a variable that we use and it indicates the proportion of the data sets variance that lies along the axis of each principal component. So this enables us to choose the features which are necessary in order to give a high accuracy for the classification. 
so i'll import this and i will fit this for the training data set and indicate the ratio so once again i'll split the training and the testing data set because a pca has been implemented onto the training data set uh, i'll also uh, encode the categorical columns and i'll also standardize the training data set now i will use this to create a variable that is dimension in order to get the minimum number of dimension that is required to preserve a 90% variance. So np.argmax is used and uh, cum sum is the variable that is used for uh, the explained variance ratio and one is being added to take the next variable for getting a 90% variance. So we see that the minimum number of dimensions that we require for getting an accuracy of 90% is 12. So now we will use 12 features or more in order to train the model and this will have an accuracy of more than 90%. This model will be used for classifying the data into two categories which is less than 50,000 per annum and more than 50,000 per annum.